Our topic for today is soldering guide. But before we proceed to our lesson proper, let us discuss first the safety precaution in soldering. Never touch the element or tip of the soldering iron. They are very hot, about 400 degrees Celsius, and it will give you a nasty burn. Second, take great care to avoid touching the main flex with the tip of the iron. The iron should have a heat proof flex for extra protection. Ordinary plastic flex melts immediately if touched by a hot iron and there is a risk of burns and electric shock. Commonly, our soldering iron flex are made of a uh, rubber that easily burned or melts once the soldering iron tip or the soldering iron element touch the part of your AC line cord. Third, always return the soldering iron to its stand when not in use. It is very important for the soldering iron to place it in its stand to keep away all the flammable materials to the soldering iron tip and soldering iron element. Next, allow joints a minute or so to cool down before you touch them. And also, it is important to avoid blowing the solder joint because it may cause your joint or your solder joint dull and a cold solder. Next, you're going to work in a well-ventilated area. The smoke form as you melt solder is mostly from the blocks and quite irritating. So avoid breathing it by keeping your, your head to the side not above your work. Next, and the last one is you wash your hands after using solder. So solder contains lead that can uh, cause a health problem once you inhale it or you once you intake it. Next is the treatment for minor burns. Most burns from soldering iron are likely to be minor and treatment is simple. Sometimes you cannot avoid the accident by burning our body or parts of our body, especially our hands, in doing the soldering process. So these are the simple treatment in our minor burns. First, Immediately cool the affected area under gently running cold water. So we are pertaining to a faucet. Water from the faucet. Keep the burn in the cold water for at least 5 minutes. At least 5 minutes. But 15 minutes is recommended. But if ice is available, it is very helpful too. But do not delay the initial cooling with cold water. Next, do not apply any creams or ointment. Sometimes, uh, once we get burned during our uh, grilling or cooking, we immediately put a cream or an ointment like uh, tomatoes, uh, Colgate, or toothpaste. But in reality, the burn will heal better without them. A dry dressing such as clean handkerchief may be applied if you wish to protect the area from the dirt. Next, seek medical attention if the burn covers an area bigger than your hand. So if your burn is bigger than your or the diameter of your hand, so you need to seek a medical attention. Next, our soldering tools and materials so we have different tools and materials that uh, we use in soldering process the first one is the soldering iron a soldering iron is a hand tool that plugs into a standard 220 volts alternating current outlet and it is heat up in order to melt solder around electrical 
connection. So this is one of the most important tools used in soldering and it can come in a few variations such as pen or a gun form. So this soldering iron or this tool is the most important tool in soldering. You cannot do the soldering process without this tool or solder, soldering iron. Uh, it comes in two kinds. We have the soldering pen, pen like you see in the picture, and we, have, we also have the soldering gun. Okay, it has uh, three parts. The soldering tip, the heating element, and the handle. So those are the parts of our soldering iron. Next tool is the soldering iron stand. A soldering iron stand is very basic but very useful and handy to have. These stands help prevent the hot iron tip from coming in contact with flammable materials or causing accidental injury to your hand. It is also very important to place the soldering iron to its stand when not in use. Next, we have the desoldering tool or the desoldering pump. The desoldering pump is otherwise called the solder sucker. Now, it is used to remove the excess solder in your solder joint. But before you suck the solder, or the uh, excess solder, you need to melt first the solder joint before using the desoldering pump. Next, we have the lead. The soldering lead or the lead, simply lead. It is a metal alloy material that is melted to create a permanent bond between electrical parts. So it... Uh, Solder lead is a material that is needed, no? it is needed to join or to permanently bond the two conductor no? by melting it. Inside the solder core is a mat material known as a flux. So this flux helps improve electrical contact and its mechanical strength. Next is the brass or the conventional sponge. So using a sponge will help to keep the soldering iron tip clean by removing the oxidation that forms. Tips with oxidation will tend to turn black and not accept solder as it did when it was new. So it is simply uh, helpful for cleaning the tip of the soldering iron. But sometimes, always cleaning the tip of the soldering iron, it makes the uh, lifespan of the soldering tip no? uh, li limit or shorten the lifespan of the tip of the iron. And also, a wet sponge will drop the temperature of the tip, tem uh, I think, uh, temporarily when wiped. Next, we have now to prepare the soldering iron. Before the, doing the soldering process, we need to prepare the soldering iron, especially when it, it is a brand new soldering iron. First, you're going to place the soldering iron to its stand, like you see on the picture. The iron will take a few minutes to reach its operating temperature of about 400 degrees Celsius. So 400 degrees Celsius is very hot that can cause burn immediately once the tip of the iron touch your skin. Second, dampen the sponge in the stand. The best way to do this is to leave it out the stand and hold it under a cold tap for a moment. Then squeeze to remove excess water. It should be damp, not dripping wet. 
Remember that th that sentence, it should be damp, not dripping wet. Next, wait a few minutes for the soldering iron to warm up. So you're going to wait about uh, two to three minutes for the soldering iron to warm up. To check it, trying to melt a little solder on the tip. Once the solder or little solder on the tip of the iron melt immediately, no, the soldering iron is already in its 400 degree Celsius. Then, wipe the tip of the iron on the damp sponge. This will clean the tip. Like that. Okay. Next. Melt a little solder on the tip of the iron. This is very important uh, step in preparing the soldering iron. Especially when the soldering iron is brand new. We call it the thinning or the thinning process. Thinning process is putting a little amount of solder to the tip of the iron. So make sure that thinning process is done perfectly, especially in a brand new soldering iron. The tip of the iron should have a uh, solder or melt solder to any part of the tip of the iron. And after that, you are now ready to start soldering. So that is the steps in preparing soldering iron. For better understanding the preparing of soldering iron, I prepare a video presentation showing the preparing of soldering iron with a brand new soldering iron. Let's watch the video. Okay, you are done watching the video. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you and God bless.